as somebody who played in the league to see Las Vegas mm -hmm. become an NFL town. What That's does that a, mean? It means everything. Mark Davis had a vision of, um, of, of just coming here and embracing this town. He promised Las Vegas that they were getting more than just a football team. They were getting a family member, someone that was going to contribute to the community. And this is just the next step of doing it. You know, we helped bring the Pro Bowl here. Now we have the draft here. We'll have the Pro Bowl again, and then we'll have the Super Bowl here in a couple years. And it's just all the build up to continuing our promise to Las Vegas. And it's just not about the economics. It's about making sure people understand that Las Vegas is a great town. Las Vegas is a family town. Las Vegas is now not only the entertainment capital of the world, but it's also a sports town. Yeah, and are you hoping that that really comes to light this week? That when they're showing the strip, maybe they show like Red Rock or they show Henderson, they show yeah, Raiders headquarters yeah. and and there's apartment buildings around mm -hmm. it, right? Like you're yeah. saying that they showcase that it's more than just Las Vegas Boulevard. Absolutely. The, the, the Las Vegas, the city of Las Vegas is so much more than just the strip. More than that, just that uh, three to four square miles. But Las Vegas is about the people. It's about the people of Henderson. It's about the people of Summerlin. It's about the people of North Las Vegas. We love Las Vegas. We love the people of Las Vegas, and we're ready to showcase that and show off the people of Las Vegas to the entire world, specifically the NFL. What has it been for you to see it from a different aspect now, to see this team yeah. play in front of an empty arena the first year, to see it be filled every game last <laughs> season, and now to see for, for the Raiders to be hosting something yes. like this, to see your organization throughout the years to where it is today? Man, it's, it's, um, it's a pride, it's a proud moment, that's for sure. Um, it is, I'll tell you right now, it is very eerie to see a full uh, a football field in a stadium, in the most beautiful stadium in the world, have no fans in it and a football game be going on. It is very eerie to experience that. But then it, it helps you be so grateful to understand what it's like to have 65,000 fans in there screaming for the silver and black. It's a beautiful moment. It's a beautiful moment for Las Vegas and the entire Raider Nation. Number 86, what do you think they might Ooh, do? Ooh, we just have to wait and see. Yeah. We are going to have to wait. Well, you're going to have yeah. to wait and see. Right. <laughs> uh, these guys are going to be walking across a floating magenta carpet stage. Uh, it, it put yourselves in their shoes. Are you going to, would you, would you jump in? Would you make the leap, jump in the water just to get that extra? Well, my first thought is, why is the carpet not silver? You know, as a Raider, we got to have silver carpet, right? Magenta? <laughs> but I'm sure they have a reason for it. Um, you know, you have to have fun with it. You know, these guys are, are at a moment that is going to change their life. Um, and they have to understand that, one, the work is not done. The work is merely starting at this point. Um, but tonight and tomorrow, enjoy it. You're in the entertainment capital of the world. You're going to be drafted. You're going to walk across the carpet. You're going to walk, be floating, whatever they have going on. <laughs> it's a ton of stuff going on. we got road closures. I don't know when Las Vegas Boulevard gets closed down, but it's closed down for the draft. Um, so, listen, they just have to enjoy it, embrace it, and have fun with it.